Namaste dear children, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Classic Social Science Sample Paper for Periodic Test 1 2025. Periodic Test 1 Sample Paper 2025-26 Class 6 Subject Social Science Maximum Marks 40 Time 1 hour 30 minutes. Section A consists of 6 MCQs of 1 mark each. Section B consists of 4 short answer questions of 2 marks each. Section C consists of 4 short answer questions of 3 marks each. Section D consists of 1 case based question of 4 marks. Section E consists of map work of 2 marks. Section F consists of long answer question of 8 marks. Section A MCQs. Prime meridian is marked as. Options are 0 degree longitude, 90 degree latitude, 0 degree latitude, 45 degree latitude. Which is the correct answer? 0 degree longitude. Which ocean is described as the largest of all? Options are Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Arctic Ocean. Which is the correct answer? Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is described as the largest of all. Which type of scientist studies the past by digging up remains like tools, ports, bones and burned grains? Options are geologist, paleontologist, anthropologist, archaeologist. Which is the correct answer? Archaeologist. Archaeologist studies the past by digging up remains like tools, ports, bones and burned grains. What does the term Jambodvipa literally mean? The country of the Bharatas, the island of the Jamun tree's fruit, the land of many rivers, the land of the Himalayas. Which is the correct answer? Option B. The land of the Jamun tree's fruit. The rules that communities agreed upon for using shared resources were usually written down in official documents, rarely written down, Voted on by all members, decided by a single leader. Which is the correct answer? Option B, rarely written down. A dash is a ratio that shows the relationship between distances on a map and the actual distances on the earth's surface. Options are map scale, simple, direction, distance. Which is the correct answer? Map scale. A map scale is a ratio that shows the relationship between distances on a map and the actual distances on the earth's surface. Next we have section B. Short answer questions. Two marks each. How does climate generally change as you move away from the equator? Around the equator, the climate is hot. That is Torrid zone. As you move away towards the poles, the climate becomes more moderate or temperate and then colder closer to the poles that is frigid zone. The next one, what is a tsunami and how does it generally originate? A tsunami is a huge and powerful wave that is a natural disaster originating in the ocean. How does it generally originate? It is generally caused by a strong earthquake or a volcanic eruption occurring at the bottom of the ocean. How do archaeologists learn about the past and what kinds of items do they examine? Archaeologists learn about the past by Digging up remains left behind by people, plants and animals. What kind of items do they examine? These items can include tools, pots, beads, figurines, toys, bones, teeth, burned grains and parts of houses or bricks. Explain the three different kinds of maps. Physical maps. Physical maps show natural features such as mountains, rivers and oceans. The next one, political maps. 
political maps display details like country or state boundaries and major cities. Then third one, thematic maps. Thematic maps, they focus on showing one specific type of information. For example, population distribution or rainfall. Next we have section C, short answer questions, three marks each. How foreigners named India? Patients after gaining control of the Indus River region refer to it as Hind, Hindu or Hindu. Then the ancient Greeks they named the region Indoi or Indic. Then ancient Chinese refer to India as Hindu or Hindu, which also originally came from Sindhu through a linguistic progression, Sindhu, Hindu, Hindu, Yundu. Another Chinese term was Tianshu, which could also mean heavenly master, reflecting their respect for India as the land of Buddha. The more recent term Hindustan was first used in a Persian inscription some 1800 years ago. Next one, how do oceans contribute to both beneficial weather and destructive natural disasters? Why are oceans referred to as the planet's lungs? So, how do oceans contribute to both beneficial weather and destructive natural disasters? Oceans are the origin of beneficial rains such as monsoon rains in India that are vital for agriculture. Then, However, oceans give rise to violent events like cyclones, which are storms with extreme rainfall or very strong winds that cause widespread damage to coastal regions. Then, why are oceans referred to as the planet's lungs? Oceans are called the planet's lungs because more than half of the world's oxygen is produced by the ocean's flora. This highlights a crucial role in supporting life on earth. What is a timeline used for in historical study? Why might a timeline have a dotted portion? So what is a timeline used for in historical study? A timeline is a convenient tool used to mark and show a sequence of dates and events covering a particular period, helping to understand the order in which historical events take place. So, the timeline shows a sequence of dates and events covering a particular period. And from this, we can understand the order in which some historical events took place. Why might a timeline have a dotted portion? A dotted portion on a timeline marks a skipped period, which is done to avoid making the timeline excessively long, especially when covering vast periods like the beginning of humanity to the present. So, the dotted portion shows a skipped period. What are the roles and responsibilities of family members? Parents are responsible for raising their children to become happy individuals and responsible members of society. As children grow, they take on more responsibilities in the home to help other family members, parents, siblings, etc. They also learn to participate in the life of the household through daily practice. Every family member is expected to cooperate by working together. Individuals often give up their own needs to take care of the family's collective needs. Now we will see section D, case-based question, four marks. Case study, Jabuwa's revival through Halma. The town of Jabuwa, located in Madhya Pradesh, was consistently plagued by a severe water crisis. 
impacting numerous villages and their inhabitants. In response to this recurring challenge, the local bill community turned to their ancient tradition of Halma. This tradition involves people collectively coming together to offer support during times of crisis. Embracing the spirit of Halma, the bill community initiated a large-scale environmental effort. They collaboratively planted thousands of trees across various villages and meticulously dug many trenches alongside constructing other water harvesting structures. This extensive work was undertaken purely out of a sense of duty towards their community and the environment with the core objective of the Halma tradition being to serve Mother Earth and notably no payment was involved for their efforts. What significant problem did the Jabua region consistently face? The Jabua region consistently faced an acute water crisis impacting numerous villages. Which traditional practice did the Bill community utilize to address this problem? The Bill community utilized their ancient Halma tradition, which involves collective support during crisis. Name two specific actions the Bill community took to conserve water. They planted thousands of trees and dug many trenches and water harvesting structures. What was the primary motivation behind the Bill community's efforts in this initiative? Their primary motivation was a sense of duty towards their community and the environment, aiming to serve Mother Earth without payment. Next section E, map work, two marks. Mark Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, Lakshadweep Island and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. See this map? We can mark Arabian Sea here, Bay of Bengal here, Lakshadweep Islands, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Next we have section F, long answer question, 8 marks. Explain latitudes and longitudes. Latitudes or parallels of latitudes, they are essentially a measure of distance from the equator. Then equator is an imaginary circle that runs halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. Then what about parallel lines if we travel northward or southward from the equator? We can draw an imaginary line that runs east and west parallel to the equator. These lines are called parallels of latitude. Degrees. Latitudes are expressed in degrees. The equator is designated as 0 degree, North Pole is 90 degree North, South Pole is 90 degree South. Then connection to climate, there is a direct link between latitude and climate. Around the equator, the climate is generally hot. It is called a torrid zone. Away from the equator towards the poles, the climate becomes more moderate, that is temperate zone. Closer to the north or south pole, the climate grows colder, that is frigid zone. Then we will write about longitudes or meridians of longitude. Longitudes are imaginary lines that runs from the north pole to the south pole, measuring distance east or west of a primary reference line. Meridians of longitudes are all half circles that run from one pole to the other. Unlike latitudes, they are all of the same length. Then, this longitude is crucial for measuring time at different places on earth. To measure longitudes, a reference point is needed. This is called uh, the prime meridian. In 1884, nations decided that the meridian passing through Greenwich, an area of London in England, would be the international standard. It is marked as zero degree longitude. Children, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We will see in the next video. Thank you.